How's it going ladies and gents, I'm Kaz and welcome to the second part of my internal I'm GUI series. In the first part we covered hooking and rendering a basic menu and in this part we are going to go through the most common widgets and how to use them along with some styling tips. Of course if you haven't seen the first part stop being weird and go ahead and watch it. Now if you'd like to support the channel and get access to all the source code used in my videos check out my Patreon down below. I also have a Discord server where we talk shit and occasionally help people so join us over there and finally it doesn't hurt to drop a like and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. By the way I'm going to be using the code from the previous part to demonstrate all of this so with that out the way let's get into it. First things first all I'm GUI drawing needs to be done between I'm GUI new frame and I'm GUI end frame. That looks something like this. Widgets need to be rendered within a window and windows are created like so with I'm GUI begin and I'm GUI end. You can create as many windows as you want by the way just don't forget to call I'm GUI end. The most important widget that you will be using will be the checkbox. To create one give it a name and give it the address of the boolean that you want the box to toggle. Remember checkboxes also return true when toggled and false otherwise. To create a button you also give it a name and optionally you can specify the size of your button through the size parameter. Buttons return true when clicked. Adding a space between widgets is as simple as calling I'm GUI spacing. You can also call I'm GUI separator to add a line between widgets. To add formatable text to your user interface, you can use the I'm GUI text widget and pass it the arguments that you would like to format into the text. If you like colors, you can use the text colored widget with a color passed in as the first parameter. To create sliders, you can use the slider int or slider float widgets, depending on what you need of course, by giving it a label, the address of the float you want the slider to modify, and finally, a minimum and maximum value. Please note that uh, these values are not clamped by default, so they can go beyond the bounds. There's a flag that will allow you to always clamp them. If by any chance you would like to take text input from a user, you can use the input text widget, which will populate a buffer that you specify with the input, and you can then use that however you like. To make your menu premium as whole, you can use the color edit widget to give your victims the perfect way to change their visual colors and make their hacks look epic. To create columns, you can use the I'm GUI columns function by specifying the the amount of columns you want and then calling I'm GUI next column when you want to move the cursor over to the next column. If you have lots of features you are going to want child windows which are little scrollable windows within your window that have their own set of properties. Create one with begin child and end it with end child and throw all your widgets in there. If you would like to have two things on the same line you can use the same line function to put the next widget on the same line as the previous one. To organize your menu you can create a tab bar with begin tab bar and end it with end tab bar. To add tabs to your bar between your tab bar functions you can call begin tab item and don't forget to call end tab item afterwards. Now you can render all your tabs like so. Tooltips can be very useful if you are terrible at naming things. So before your desired widget check if it is hovered and if so go ahead and render your tooltip with your very useful information. List boxes can also be very useful so to create one create an array with all your items and a variable to store your selected items index. Then use the list box widget to make your epic list box like so. Obviously up to this point I have not covered all the available widgets in IMGUI but this should get you going. I highly suggest you check out the IMGUI.h file because almost everything is commented and explained in there and also check out the IMGUI demo.h to see how to use every widget and what they look like. With that being said you can render the demo window using IMGUI show demo window to give you an idea of what they do and how they work. Now let's move on to something a little more interesting which is styling. To control colors and some other menu attributes like padding and spacing I'm GUI uses a system of global style variables. You only need to set the value of these variables once, which I recommend doing during your menu initialization, but you can also change them during runtime, which can be very useful. I suggest you call I'm GUI show style editor. This will let you fiddle around with all the available properties and colors dynamically so that you can see what they do and how they behave. Best of all, you can copy your changes to your clipboard and then all you need to do is paste your changes into your menu initialization function. It is literally that easy. It is literally paste proof. Now the last thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to load a custom font. You can create your font using add font from file and passing in the directory of the font. These fonts are usually stored in your Windows fonts directory and of course you need to be a little bit mindful because if someone doesn't have the font installed and they try uh, run your program uh, it's just going to use the default font because it's not going to find um, the font that you wanted to load. Anyway that just about wraps up this simple overview of I'm GUI. I hope you enjoyed the video and and if it helped you, feel absolutely free to drop a like and comment. Remember to join my Discord server and check out my Patreon down below. Anyway, till next time guys. Cheers.